Leo, hello, and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your blessings reading for this new month of July 2024. Now, if you would like to watch a link to the extended, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. I'm now offering 50% off all extended readings. So if you want to check those out, again, the link is down in the description box below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. And we will start off with your dominant energy. And you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. All right, so you have here the number seven, okay? And it says here, deception and envy. So as you can see here, there's a man who was wearing a mask before, but he's kind of like taking off his mask, right? And so this is a little bit similar to the Seven of Swords in Tarot and the Rider Waite. So there's some kind of deception and envy around you, whether it's with a group of people, one particular person, okay, could be love-related, family-related, career-related, professional, you know, projects, whatever this is, but deception and envy is around you, okay? Now, for others of you guys, this has to do with some kind of an energy that perhaps you're unaware of. Ask yourself, are you the one who is feeling a little bit kind of like, you know, suspicious of somebody? Okay, maybe you feel suspicious of somebody. And the reason why you're feeling suspicious, maybe right now you don't have all the details, clarity, but there might be something beneath the surface uh, about this person, right? So there's something here that is kind of telling you beware, okay? It's a little bit of a warning sign, but not to fear, never fear. The number seven there is uh, representing a highly spiritual number and the number seven represents protection. So you are being protected no matter who is being deceptive, no matter who is envious around you, evil eye type of energy you are definitely being protected, okay? Now here with this, um, you know, man here, he's kind of like taking off his mask. You know, th there's some kind of energy that might be wearing a mask around you. They might be kind of like fake. They may be lying. They may be very deceptive. They may be acting rather sneaky, sneaky behavior, trying to get away with something, that kind of deal. And for others, it could just be jealousy, okay? And now this could be particular, um, in particular, any area of your life in particular, Okay, so it could be either your love life, career, professional life, family related situation, um, your job, a boss, co-workers, but you take it as it resonates because this is a general reading, okay? Take whatever resonates from the reading and leave what doesn't. So let's go ahead and jump right into the tarot. I will be using the Rider Waite tarot. And I will be taking a look at your past, present, and future position. Also, who and what is coming towards you? What is in your opportunity? What are your blessings coming in for you? And also what is in your challenge position and how to overcome that challenge in order to see and receive your blessings. All right, so let me know in the comments below what is going on related to you and your situation, okay? And I just want to remind those of you guys who have not yet heard this message, for those of you guys who have already heard this message, bear with me, there are a lot of newcomers, but I had been announcing a few days ago, probably already a week ago, that uh, the YouTube algorithm has changed. A lot of my subscribers have been letting me know that YouTube has unsubscribed them uh, involuntarily. So, um, you know, it's it's very beneficial for not only you, but me, for both of, for both of us, okay, uh, to help one another, support each other, Comment down below because the YouTube algorithm is now changing and for some reason they're hiding my videos. And so, you know, there's some kind of an energy going on around where um, it's not only me, the only reader who is experiencing this, I've been told now. So support the channel. Let me know if you do enjoy these readings by commenting down below, okay? Uh, liking the video, giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and also hitting that notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, make sure that you hit all, okay? Because if you just um, click on notification bell and personalized, then it won't announce whenever I have posted for your sign. Now, um, 
Another reminder is that all of your monthly readings have already been posted on the channel, so you can go back to the channel and um, take a look at those. But again, thank you so much for your support, your encouragement, because I had been considering going onto a different platform since I wasn't sure if you guys were enjoying my readings or not. I was feeling discouraged, but I've been getting a lot of positive feedback, so Thank you all so much for all of your positive feedback, okay? And again, give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit all, and um, let's dive right in. All right, let's go ahead and see. You could be dealing with the sign of Cancer. I see also sign of Aries. Mm, what else do we have here? Any other sign could be any of the signs, okay, really? But you have here the two of wands. You're going to have to make a decision. And there's a decision here that you're going to have to make right now. You might be kind of feeling like, you know, hmm, let me weigh out the pros, the cons, the pluses, the minuses about the situation. But ultimately, you're going to have to make a decision. For some, it could be related to this deceptive, lying person who might be acting in a rather sneaky kind of way where you might feel like, can I trust them? Are, is this person trustworthy? Is this offer being trustworthy, right? Because this could be anything related to any area of your life, okay? Let me know in the comments below which area of your life this reading is pertaining to because say, for example, since I'm going to be going into different positions, one position could be like, okay, oh, that's going on in my love life and this other area, this is going on in my career and this other position that's going on in my personal life, family life, or just one uh, entire reading could be one or two um uh, specific areas of your life, but let me know in the comments below. Okay. So some kind of decision that you have to make, and it's going to be a very important decision because it's related to your future. So this is, you know, kind of advising you don't make any quick decisions really, you know, mm, dive into the energy of patience, you know, patience, planning, and also weighing out the pros, cons, pluses, minuses, because whatever decision you finally make, it's going to have a great impact on your future. So no quick fix solutions. You know, sometimes people tend to make quick solutions or quick um, decisions to find a quick solution is what I'm trying to say, uh, to feel good right now. Okay. And so this is asking for you to look deeper into the situation. Okay, no quick fix solutions are going to resolve this situation for long term. Now in your uh, challenge position, you have your the hangman, the nine of wands, as well as the six of pentacles. So I see here the part of your, your part of your challenge is, you know, um, looking at this person or the situation from a different light. You're looking at them from only one angle, from only one perspective. And that is becoming a little bit of a challenge for you to see the truth. Okay. Ask yourself, are you just stuck in an illusion? Are you looking at this person at the situation, whether it's a job, career, family matter, um, you know, love matter, friendship matter, whatever this is, are you looking at it from the lens of an illusion, right? What I mean by that is I'll give you an example. Let's say, for example, you are in a relationship right with somebody and this person has been lying they have been jealous they've been deceptive they've been acting rather sneaky but because this person at some point in the beginning did something kind for you right maybe they somehow um helped you in some kind of way you still kind of have this program in your mind of no but that they can't really be lying because you know, they've helped me at one point in my life, right? Or it could just be the fact that this person made promises to you. Yeah, you know, I, I want to marry you. I want to do this with you. If this is a business partnership, yeah, we're going to make money together, right? You know, that kind of thing. And so that you're kind of like stuck in that illusion of the promise of, okay, well, this person said that, you know, this is what they wanted. And so, you know, their words are now, kind of weighing heavier on your mind than their actions. Like you're kind of like putting more so of an importance and emphasis on their promises, on their words, rather than what you're seeing, right? So ask yourself, is that what you're going through right now? Is this something that you're doing? Because part of your challenge is, you know, receiving enlightenment. It's like the universe is trying to enlighten you. The universe is trying to send you these 
clear messages so that you can find clarity so that you can see this person from a from the real perspective from a real light right it's kind of like you know you're looking at that person with the lights off and you're like okay i can kind of see them right um i can see that they have eyes they have a nose they have a face they have a body but i can't really see all the little details right and so it, it, it's like the universe is trying to tell you look at them from this other angle because on this other angle, the light is on, right? Now you can see them for who they really are. But it's kind of like you're stuck in that energy where, no, I'd rather just stay here and look at them from the darkness because this is what I know. This is what I'm familiar to, right? So, you know, this is something here that you need to ask yourself, are you doing this? Again, this could be related to a job that you're not enjoying anymore that has been rather deceptive. Maybe there's jealous people around you. It could be family members, friends a lover, a loved one, okay? Whoever, whatever this is, um, let me know in the comments below. But I do see here that part of your challenge is, yeah, it's kind of like the, the energy where... <laughs> you know, subconsciously, you already have your walls up. I mean, imagine yourself, you already have your walls up, like you're protecting yourself, right? But yet you're still unwilling to let them go, or you're unwilling to disconnect from that place, environment, job, family member, loved one, lover, right? And so, you know, this is, uh, this is kind of funny to me, because it's kind of like, you know, you're protecting yourself. It's like you're creating a wall all around you imagine that creating a wall all around you right to protect yourself from the invader but the invader lives inside your home <laughs> right so it's like okay you're you know already having your wall you're putting your walls up you kind of know that you need to protect yourself from this invader but that invader lives inside your home how does that work I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Now I'm also seeing here with this uh, six of pentacles, right? Yeah. This is some kind of a situation related to the fact that you already know this person's breadcrumbing you. You already know you're not getting paid what you are worth at your job, at your career, or you've been giving too much to a person, to a situation, and that person is not giving back to you. It could be that, yeah, maybe they're giving you little bits and pieces of attention, little bits and pieces of time. You know, they're paying you just a little bit just to kind of keep it going, right? But you know inside you that you want more or that there's something here that's out of balance, okay? So that's part of the challenge there. Let me know in the comments below what this is all about. Could also be the fact that right now some of you guys are struggling financially and you're unwilling to ask for help. If you're unwilling to ask for help, okay, it's advising you, you need to speak up. Ask for help because there's help all around you. Now, for others of you guys, perhaps you're the one who has been helping somebody either monetarily or in other ways other ways. Okay. But again, let me know in the comments below because I literally love reading all your comments, especially the way that they relate to these readings. Um, I find it fascinating how, you know, everybody's story is different for one entire reading. Okay. Now in the recent past, you have your, the three of uh, cups, the chariot, as well as the five of pentacles reverse. So in the recent past, I see here that, yeah, there was some kind of an energy here of celebration. Either you met this person, you know, at an event, at a social gathering, through family members, friends, you know, a group it's type of environment, that kind of deal. Or this situation started off in a very lighthearted, light-spirited type of way where you guys were having fun, everything was lighthearted, you know, fun, that kind of deal, okay? And I do see here that, you know, with the chariot, at some point, you kind of felt like, you know what, I've got to, I've got to see if this person wants more than just fun. I've got to see if this job will offer more than just promises, right? Yeah, you know, promises when, uh, you know, you go into a job, they promise you, yeah, you know, you, you're going to get paid this, you're going to pay that, and, you know, you're going to have your own office, and etc. And you're like, yeah, that's all fun, right, for the moment. But then you're like, wait a minute, um, when is this actually going to happen, right? Because um, it's been a year now, and so, yeah, you know, are you wasting your time? So at some point, I do see here that you did confront somebody or a situation for a very small 
small group of you guys, it was related to a third party situation and you did confront that person about the third party or there was some kind of confrontation, whether you confronted them, they confronted you, or if this was a work related matter, family related matter, there was some kind of confrontation. I do see here that there was a little bit of resistance. Okay. It's like somebody here was trying to convince you to go this way and you kind of felt like, wait a minute, are you just leading me on? Are you trying to lead me on? Um, you know, whether it's a job, career, family related matter, friend, relationship, whatever this is. And I do see here that you did not let yourself get let on. Okay. At first you kind of felt like, okay, I'm going with your flow. I'm going with your flow, but then you kind of like snapped out of it. Okay. And I do see here that there was some kind of energy there of confrontation. I'm also seeing here that, excuse the noise, that with the five of pentacles reverse, I see that you started recovering. It's kind of like at some point you lost yourself in the fun, in the games, in the flow, right? Of their flow of where we, they wanted the situation to go. But then you kind of snapped out of it. I see here that you kind of uh, reconnected with yourself again for others. Perhaps you were wasting a lot of money. Okay. And, or there was some kind of energy there where you had to recover financially, or you had to recover emotionally, or um, based on some kind of trauma because I do see that for some you experience a lot of trauma and you have to heal from that trauma okay that this situation put you through whether again it was some kind of a fear uh, based trauma fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, or fear of losing out on something. But I see here that you did recover, okay, from whatever this was in the recent past. Let me know in the comments below. In the uh, current and your cur current energies, you have the five of wands, the judgment, as well as the three of pentacles. So right now, I do see here that there's some kind of conflict, right? The five of wands, some kind of conflicting energy, okay? It could be some drama. It could be jealousy, competition, somebody here wanting to compete, you know, for you or your attention, or there's some kind of sense of competition, jealousy, conflict, drama at hand at the moment. If this is not related to an external uh, environment conflict, whether it's a career job, okay, whether it's a family situation, a relationship, you know, whatever it is, it could be internal, like you're experiencing some kind of internal conflict. Because a lot of times when people say to themselves, my God, you know, I, I just resolved this conflict and then this other drama showed up and then you resolve this other drama and then this other drama showed up. Sometimes that happens because subconsciously there's something inside of you that is bothering you. It's conflicting you, but you're not giving it the attention that it needs. You keep ignoring it. Oh no, that's nothing. That's nothing. Resolve whatever it is that's conflicting you inside first and trust me, believe me, you will soon see your external environment and situations completely transform for the better. Okay. I see her also with the judgment, the three of pentacles. For some, there is some kind of reconciliation, negotiation. Hey, let's work it out. Let's see eye to eye, right? Somebody here uh, having a breakthrough, awakening moment, learning some kind of a lesson and wanting to negotiate, wanting to, let's see if we can work it out, right? Whether this is career related, love related, family, whatever this is, okay? I'm seeing that for others of you guys, there's some kind of an energy there where uh, there is some kind of a third party situation. Remember that third party situations are not just lovers. A third party situation could be and a uh, third energy, right? It could be uh, a mother figure. It could be a father figure, a family member, a friend. It could be a coworker, right? It could be literally anything or anyone. It could even be fears and anxiety as a third energy, right? But here also with the judgment, what that means for you is that you're, you're right now experiencing some kind of awakening, some kind of a eureka moment. Now I know how to, how to handle the situation. For some, you're realizing that fighting is not the answer. Arguing is not the answer. You're having some kind of a reawakening where you need to use your intelligence in order to resolve this by getting along instead, right? By being kind, even though it's difficult because of this person's personality or the situation and how it's conflicting you, but you're starting to realize, you know what, let me go about it in a different way. And if you haven't realized that already, this is how to go about this. You know, it's, it's better to to be, um, it's kind of like using that gentle strength, okay, to negotiate, to see if you guys can come to terms with something, right, a win-win type of situation. Now, I do see that for others of you guys. Somebody here is 
having some kind of a reawakening moment where if they did not appreciate you in the past, now they're seeing your value, they're seeing your worth. Some of you guys will be getting a bigger offer, whether it's a bigger love offer, a bigger job offer, right? Some kind of a bigger offer where either you're going to get paid more, okay, or this person is going to value you more as well. Now, in your near future, you have here the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups, and the Tower. So in the near future, I do see here that something here that is not working out right now, it's not supposed to, or it hasn't worked out in the past. It was not supposed to work out because the timing was completely off, right? A lot of times we want things to happen, to manifest, and we work harder. We put in more work. We put in more effort when in reality, the universe is like, you're going about it the wrong way, right? And so also in relation to that, it's timing. It's like a timing issue. There are still things that you needed to learn in the past that you're learning now. And now in the near future, the wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor, basically meaning that all of your blessings are soon going to come in. Okay. But before these blessings come in, I do see that there's going to be some kind of a tower moment in the near future, some kind of a shocking news, shocking revelation. Something here will crumble. Okay, it needs to crumble because it was already set on a very shaky foundation. When something is set on a shaky foundation, how do you expect it to last? Right? It's like you keep building upon it, you keep building upon the relationship, upon the career, upon the job, upon the project, but it has laid it has been laid out on a very shaky foundation. It's gonna crumble at some point. And so it's kind of like see all the smoke coming out of that tower. You're getting the, you know, it's it's kind of like, you know, if you're if you're uh, in 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 a in a building and you smell smoke, that's not normal. If you're in an office building for you to smell smoke, there's something going on. You can't ignore those signals. This is saying that somebody here ignored the red flags, you ignored the signals. And so because you ignored them, the universe is stepping in and saying, okay, you know what? Now I'm going to have this, you know, fall apart so that you can finally do what needed to be done back then, right? But it comes with a blessing in disguise. I see here that you're about to meet a person in the near future who is very loving, very kind, very tender, very intuitive as well. They may be able to help you in some kind of way, either to heal. This could also be a new relationship, a new friendship, okay? For others of you guys, you're tuning back in to your intuition, you're reconnecting with your essence once again. Now, who and what is coming towards you in your opportunity and part of your blessings is look at that, the emperor. So some of you guys will be meeting some kind of a, either a leader, okay, a father figure, a very masculine energy who has romantic feelings for you. I see here that at first you may be a little bit um, kind of undecided, right? The two of swords. When this opportunity comes in as part of your blessing, you may not be ready for it. That's why I'm letting you know, right? And so with the two of swords, what that is saying is that you might be sitting in in denial telling yourself that's too good to be true. No, that can't possibly be for me when in reality it is. For others of you guys, you're going to be having an opportunity here as part of your blessings to step into your masculine role, right? To become the leader in some kind of area of your life, whether it's the leader in a relationship, in a career endeavor, in a project, whatever this is. But I do see here that there's going to be an offer, okay? An offer coming in. For some, it's an offer of love. For others, it's an offer for friendship, okay? And it could be an apology, can also be an offer for a job. But again, this is something uh, that you need to act upon right away. Okay, don't think about it for too long because. I see here that with the emperor, the emperor is very decisive. He knows what to do, when to do it quickly, right? It's the emperor energy. He doesn't sit there and, you know, overthink things. He's just like, yes, no. Okay. That's, you know, whatever, right? It's, it's the emperor energy. It's very decisive. It's just like, he's very clear cut. Okay. And that's the energy that you need to embrace. Now let's go ahead and go into uh, your clarification. So let's see, deception and envy. Oh, that wanted to flip out. Let's clarify that. So you have here the 10 of wands, the knight of wands, the four of wands, reverse a lot of wands energy and the 10 of cups. So I do see here that at the bottom of the deck with the 10 of cups. Yeah. So this is related to a relationship. Okay. Um, this relationship could be either a career relationship, a family relationship, a love relationship, whatever kind of relationship, but it's some kind of a union here. Okay. I'm seeing here that this is already kind of um, becoming a little bit of a burden for you. It's like you're, 
you feel like you're carrying some kind of a burden because there is an emotional attachment to this person, situation, career, environment, but it's already becoming deceptive. There's people that are envious around you or one particular person that is an envious around you, that kind of thing, okay? For others, you're dealing with a player. It's some kind of a player energy who really is not ready for commitment, okay, even though they promise you commitment. And again, you are the one doing all the work, carrying the burden, you know, of the stress and anxiety of should I trust them, should I not? When look at what's behind him, okay, what's behind him is the four of wands reverse. This person is not ready for some kind of a commitment at this particular moment, okay? And or if this is job related, there's something related to the fact that whoever promised you to pay you more right now, they're, they're even on a shaky ground. It's like, sorry, it's my doggy is on my lap. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. So she wants to be part of the reading. Uh, so yeah, so there's that energy there where, you know, if this is a job type of situation, it could be related to the fact that somebody promised you, yeah, I'm going to pay you this. I'm going to pay you that. But that person may not even have the financial stability in order to pay you that amount, right? That they promised. But let's go ahead and go into the deeper messages here. Okay. So here we have cadence. Okay. So I do see here, um, it says, you are my muse, my inspiration to create and you ignite my soul. So for some, this person is literally, you know, like telling you, yeah, you inspire me. You do inspire them, right? You inspire somebody. You are their inspiration to create. You ignite their soul for sure. But what about this deceptive type of energy, right? There's something sneaky going on there. It's kind of like, you know, this is reminding me of the charmer, right? See this guy, he's sitting there playing the guitar singing a song to somebody that he he really likes right but all these other energies are saying that there's something inconsistent about this individual or this group of people or this environment or this job right i see here that you bring a lot to the table because you inspire them if this is a job you know you uh, are very creative in your job and at your work right you're the one who gets things done at work right and so it's kind of like their promises are keeping you there right it's like telling you they're telling you but no you know you are my muse you are my inspiration you are are, you know, um, the one who keeps the, 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 the job or the, the business flowing, right? You can't possibly leave, you know? And so is that good enough for you, for this person just to tell you that? Or do you actually want to see some action and something in return, right? Because I feel that this could possibly be just some kind of, you know, sweet talk is what I'm sensing from this person situation. But let's go ahead and look deeper into your present energies. You have here the Ten of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Fool, and at the bottom here, the Magician. Yeah, so I am seeing here that with the magician, you need to step into your magical role, okay? This is all about you creating magic in your world, in your environment, in your job, in your relationship. If you want to see things change, you've got to step up to the plate and change them yourself. Because what the magician is saying is that nobody's going to come and rescue you for you. You have to own your power. You've got to learn your power, okay? Or it, it could be that you have to step back into your power. This is a reminder here right now that in a situation, you have no idea the power that you hold over changing the situation to whatever it is that you want it to be. If you've been fighting with somebody, if you've been fighting with yourself and you're not getting the right results, it's because you have to go about it in a different way, right? Instead of fighting, try to negotiate. Instead of arguing, try to, you know, uh, see eye to eye, right? Okay, what can bring us both together instead of focusing on, on what separates you and this situation and or this person? Because if you utilize your skills, right, this is telling you that you have the, in, the uh, intelligence, you have the tenacity, you have the willpower, you have the drive, you have the words, the type of communication that is that is so powerful uh, that you'll be able to influence the people around you or a particular individual, but you're not owning up to your power. It's like you feel like this person or situation has power over you when in reality you have power over it or them, okay? 
Now, I'm seeing here that also it could be a power struggle for some. Uh, what these other energies are saying is that you're gonna you're about to meet a, a new person, a new soulmate. For some, it could be a reconciliation, stepping into a brand new beginning with some kind of a soulmate union and a soulmate connection after some kind of an ending, a painful ending that you need to already leave behind. Okay, but let's go ahead and dive into these uh, deeper messages. And you have your best friends. And it says here, we share everything with one another. You get me. Okay, so you're going to become best friends with somebody if you haven't become this already. For some, you are reconnecting with your best friend, whether it's a love situation, whether it's a job situation where you and somebody can potentially become best friends. But it says here, we share everything with each other. You are the only one who gets me best friends. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and move into the extended reading. So in the extended reading, I will dive deeper into this other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what will be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from spirits. If you want to check out the link to the extended, I'm now offering 50% off all extended readings. You can find the link to that in the description box below, and also Remember to comment down below, even if it's just an emoji, you really help support me, my channel, okay, and also give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, hit all. Also, make sure that you are still subscribed to the channel uh, for those of you guys who are subscribed, okay, because remember, YouTube algorithm is a little bit funky right now. They are unsubscribing people who are subscribed, and so I'm getting a lot of messages saying that, you know what, I don't get your notifications, and that's because then they realize, oh my gosh, YouTube unsubscribed them. So um, again, help support the channel by commenting down below, all that good stuff, liking, subscribing, sharing my videos as well. Okay, thank you all so much for your encouragement for me to stay here on YouTube. It is really helping me, okay, to see things from a different light. Uh, again, thank you so much for your support and take very good care of yourself. And until next time, oh, also make sure to check out all of your monthly readings, which have already been posted on the channel. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Sun psychic soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.